What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how that I was able to get this Lenovo T14 laptop that has an Intel 12th generation chip in it to upgrade from Windows 10 21 H2 to Windows 11 22 H2. The solution is actually really simple but I'm going to give you a little bit of the other things I tried and those things probably will work better for most people but in my case this <laughs> this was a very simple thing that got it working. So I tried Windows Update because that's what Microsoft says to do first and it told me that the hardware was Windows 11 capable but that my particular configuration was not supported. I found that to be kind of strange considering this is the hardware that Windows 11 22H2 would most likely run on because it's 12th gen Intel. Then I tried the Windows 11 Upgrade Assistant where you download that, run it, and it actually went through the process of downloading the upgrade files and it would check for updates and get through several portions of the setup and then all of a sudden it would error out. Unfortunately, I don't have a screenshot of that error. So I made a USB flash drive with a media creation tool and launched the setup.exe from within Windows and that didn't work either. It said something went wrong whenever it would finally get to the process and fail. As I said already, it went through several steps and then it would just stop. So there was no error code for me to look up, but it did give a bunch of text that said some of your settings are incompatible, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do anything. You will be offered Windows 11 whenever it's working for your system. So after all that, what I did to fix it was very, very simple. I went down to my little Wi-Fi icon on Windows 10. I clicked it and I turned the Wi-Fi off. Now this is obviously Windows 11, but the Windows 10 process is pretty similar. I just went to disconnect and I wasn't on the Wi-Fi. I went to that flash drive with the Windows 11 22H2 on it that I had created with the media creation tool and open setup.exe without being connected to the Wi-Fi or any kind of internet connection and you see here this was the result it actually upgraded I hope this helps somebody and I can't believe how simple this was if you found this helpful please give me a like and subscribe that way more people are likely to find this fix if they're having the same problem you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one